Thank you for watching this e-learning tutorial brought to you by the Pennsylvania Department of Environmental Protection. Today you will learn how to navigate the PA Oil and Gas Mapping GIS application. You can find out if there are oil and gas wells in your area, view their permitting information, who operates them, how much product they produce, as well as compliance information such as when they were inspected and the inspection results. To access this application, go to DEP's homepage at www.dep.pa. Gov. Once you have reached DEP's homepage, click on the Data and Tools tab at the top right of the screen and select GIS from the drop-down menu. Next, select the PA Oil and Gas Mapping, which is the first application listed on the page. When you click on the application, a screen will pop up introducing you to the Oil and Gas Mapping website along with a standard disclaimer. Click Continue. When the mapping application is open, you'll see the screen is divided into two parts. The left side consists of a series of tabs and functions to choose what information you want to display, and the right side displays that information on the interactive map. When you first open the mapping application, the default selection is set to Active Unconventional Gas Wells and displayed on the interactive map as red dots. You can see under the Oil and Gas Well Layer tab that Unconventional Wells is selected under Well Designation, under Well Type, Gas is selected and Well Status, Active is selected. To display a different set of wells, for example Active Conventional Oil Wells, you would simply uncheck Unconventional, check Conventional, uncheck Gas, check Oil, and leave Active as is. Then scroll down and click the Submit Request button to display your new selection on the map. If you want to look up wells, you also have the option for searching for a well or wells that meet a specific search criteria by utilizing the Search for Oil and Gas Wells drop-down menu. You can search by permit number, county, municipality, operator, or a combination of those. The mapping application offers a multitude of tools to help you navigate and gather information you are interested in. Located in the upper left-hand corner of the map display box, you have Zoom In, which changes the map scale to see more detail on the map, Zoom Out, which changes the map scale to see a larger section of the map, Zoom to Pennsylvania, which displays the entire state of Pennsylvania in the map area. You have Zoom to Previous Extent and Zoom to Next Extent that allow you to go back or forward to previous scales or locations. The Pan tool allows you to move around the map without changing scale. The Clear Graphic tool removes highlights, drawn lines, polygons, points, and labels from the map area. And last, the Identify tool displays a list of attributes at a specific point on the map. You also have the ability to use four different kinds of map displays. The map displays one of four selectable map sources, with the default being Esri Streets and Imagery, with a slide bar that allows you to fade from streets to Esri Imagery. You also have access to Topographic, National Geographic, and PA Map Imagery and Esri Imagery with a slide bar to transition between the two. PA Map Imagery is historical coverage prior to most unconventional operations, and Esri Imagery is more up to date. This allows you to see how unconventional activity has changed the landscape of Pennsylvania. For this tutorial, we will zoom into a well and utilize the Identify tool and take a look at historical and current imagery. To zoom in, click on the Zoom In tool and click and hold the left mouse button and drag over the area you are interested in and release. Once you have zoomed down to the well you are interested in, select the PA Map Imagery and Esri Imagery option located in the upper left corner of the interactive map display. Using the slide bar, you can transition from older aerial imagery to more current imagery and see how the landscape has changed. Next, let's take a look at information regarding the well by using the Identify tool. Select the Identify tool and click on the well. All of the information about the well, such as the permit number, well name, operator, well type, well status, permit date, spud date, and coordinates of the well are just a few attributes contained in the pop-up box. You can use the navigation bar on the right side of the pop-up box to scroll down to reveal other display options such as the well's authorization documents, inspections, and production data. For this tutorial, let's choose Display Inspections. This will bring up the Site Inspection box, which is broken up into different inspection types and has the ability to pull up inspection reports, violation descriptions, and responses from the operator regarding those violations. The first type of inspections recorded is Client Inspections, which are generally an administrative review of documents or data pertaining to the statewide operations of a particular operator. For example, a client inspection would be the review of production, waste, or mechanical integrity data. 
In this case, a violation was noted in 2015 and by clicking on the blue highlight number in the violation box, you can see they failed to file production data for that month. To close the violation box, click the X in the upper right corner. Site inspections represent a geographical area pertaining to oil and gas operations and may involve an inspection of the entire site or just a portion of the site. An example would be an inspection conducted on the well pad but not the wells themselves. There are multiple inspections to this site and by using the navigation bar you can scroll down to view more. In this example, we can see during mid-2015, three violations were noted during inspection 2377505. Additionally, an electronic copy of the inspection report is available to see how DEP took action, as noted by the blue font of the inspection ID, and an electronic copy of the operator's response to the violations, as noted by the yes in the operator response column. Last are primary facility inspections, which are well inspections. Once again, you have the ability to scroll down and view inspections and pull up information regarding those violations. In this case, in 2015, four violations were noted. To close out of the site inspection box, click the X on the upper right corner. Let's now review some of the other versatile functions available to you in the interactive oil and gas mapping application. Currently you are in the oil and gas well air tab as indicated in the upper left corner. You also have access to the tasks, legend, other map layers, and resource tabs. Under the task tab, you can search for and locate specific areas or items of interest, create a multitude of different buffers based on a point, line, or polygon, you can also return information within a buffered area, perform measurements, and generate a printable map. The Locate task allows you to search for a specific area or point within Pennsylvania. You can search for a specific address, county, oil and gas region, coordinates, municipality, quadrangle, pad name, pad site, or zip code. The Buffer task creates a defined bounding area based on your input from a point, line, or polygon. The Proximity Buffer task allows you to select a location on the map, create a buffer for that location, and return information on specific layers that you have selected. For this tutorial, let's see how many active unconventional gas wells are within one mile of a given location. The default selection for the Proximity Buffer is blank except for selected wells, which is active. Check Unconventional Wells and leave selected wells as is. Change the buffer distance to one mile and click Create Buffer. Next, click anywhere on the interactive map and it will create a one mile buffer and bring up information on any unconventional gas wells that are within a mile of where you clicked. You will see an information box has popped up displaying seven active unconventional gas wells. You then have the option to print or export that information to a CSV format. To remove the information box, click on the X in the upper right corner and to remove the buffer, click on the clear graphics tool located on the toolbar. The Proximity Buffer task can display any combination of 12 GIS layers showing oil and gas well locations, mining operations, and waste disposal activities. The Measurement task can measure the area inside a shape, the distance between two points, or collect the locational coordinates of one or two points. And last, the Print task can generate a PDF copy of the displayed map area. The Legend tab displays the icons, outlines, and shapes used to represent the data layers that are currently being displayed on the map. The Other Map Layers tab provides a list of map layers that can be added to the map area display. For example, if you check the box next to the state force, it will turn on the layer and you can see what is near your location. To turn off a layer, just uncheck the box. A layer name listed in black is visible at the current map scale. A layer name listed in gray cannot be seen at the current map scale regardless of whether it's selected and you will have to zoom closer to see the data. The last tab is the Resources tab. The Resources tab contains additional resources related to oil and gas in Pennsylvania such as historical imagery, maps, reports, and publications. You can also contact the DEP Geospatial Data Center by clicking on the Contact Us link and pull up printable help documents for using the oil and gas mapping application. That concludes our overview of the DEP's PA oil and gas mapping application. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for future e-learning tutorials brought to you by the Department of Environmental Protection and visit our website 
at www.dep.pa.gov.